get out of there. Yeah, seriously. I mean, why did it take you guys two hours to clean up one smoothie machine accident? Well, maybe if you had helped, Karina. I was working, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> you call checking the folds of every single napkin in Cafe mm. Mew Mew work? Yes, I do. <sighs> well, at least I can take some small pleasure in the fact that our dear sweet friend Bridget opens tomorrow and not me. Speaking of Bridget, have you noticed anything odd about our bookish friend lately? Odd like what? Bye. Odd like, for one thing, she hasn't apologized to me for a week. For what? <laughs> for anything. Usually she's apologizing for saying hello, for asking if I want to hang out, for being late when she's right on time. That girl practically apologizes for being alive. Well, maybe she got her hands on some good self-help tapes. She's been smiling, Zoe. It's really weird. Oh, and yesterday, I caught her singing while she was mopping. Who sings while they work? I kind of... Perky people. That's who. Bridget is perky. Well, I'm sure it's something. I mean nothing. Wait a minute, Zoe. You know something, don't you? Of course. I mean no. Shoot. Spill it. Okay. So, like, two weeks ago, Bridge was walking home from school, right? And she saw this woman in a wheelchair at a busy crosswalk. And, like, the crossing light was out or something, and no one was helping her. But then... Excuse me, can I help you cross the street? Thank you. What a gentleman. Wow, what a gentleman. That's what the woman in the wheelchair said, and that's what Bridget thought. Wow, what a gentleman. Was the guy cute? Bridget thought so. So, like, two days later, she was... What do you mean, two days later? She didn't say anything then? You know how Bridget is. She's shy. So, like, two days later, she's in the library, and she sees him again. Same guy. And get this! He was reading a book! Well, it was a library. Right, but... That's what people do in libraries. They read books. Right. But Bridget likes books. That's my point. And anyway, she saw him again the next day. So she's following this guy. No, she's bumping into him. No, she's stalking him. No, she's bumping into him. It's sweet. It's destiny. When you bump into somebody, you say, sorry, my bad, you laugh awkwardly. Watching somebody from far away without saying anything is not bumping into them. Okay, she was following him. But on the fifth day, he said something. Allow me. <gasps> Here you go. Uh... Isn't this the book you were trying to reach? So what did she say? Not much at first. <laughs> I'm in my third year of college at YGU, and I'm a lit major. Oh? I'm focusing on Russian literature. Really long books about sad people and hunger, and cold weather and torn overcoats and poverty. So I'm a pretty cheery guy to be around these days. You seem fun to me. <laughs> so like, what's your story anyway? Uh -huh. I've seen you here reading the hard stuff. I think a girl your age would be into music magazines and teen romance, not Shakespeare. Shakespeare wrote about teen romance. What light through yonder window breaks. It is the east and Juliet is the sun. Listen to you. Yeah. I guess I'm kind of a weirdo reading such serious books. But if I ever need a break from all the heavy stuff, I just switch over to travel guides. Yeah? Pretty lame, right? Okay, first of all, you're not a weirdo. You're a smart girl, and that's cool. And second of all, you haven't told me your name. Mine's Ian. And my name is Bridget. That's a nice name. You really think so? <clears throat> I mean... Um. <laughs> it's so cute! It's geek love! It's the sweetest thing ever! Maybe he writes her poetry... I'll see you at work tomorrow. Any new developments?
developments? Yesterday we talked about Dostoevsky. Uh, I don't know where that is, but it sounds fun. I've never had a secret crush before. Hey, speaking of secret, I told Karina. <laughs> oh, no, no, why'd you do that, Zoe? She'll tell everybody. <laughs> Everyone should know. No, no one should know he's an older guy. It's just a crush. I can't believe it. I... <sighs> What's wrong with people knowing you're in love? It's perfectly natural. Zoe, be quiet. Come on, please. Oh, okay, I get it. Good. Now, from now on... Hey, Karina, don't tell anybody that Bridget's going out with that college guy! Are you crazy? Everyone's back there. They'll hear you. Woo-hoo! So, I can't believe you weren't going to tell us. Now that everyone knows, you've got to talk, Bridget. Oh, seriously. Are you going to get that? We know what he's like, and we know what he likes, but we don't know what he looks like. You said he was totally cute. But totally cute can mean a lot of different things depending on who's talking. He's tall, isn't he? Well, kind of, but... So does he write you a lot of poetry? He hasn't written me any. It's so cool you guys are going out to see We're not going out. Me? We haven't even gone out. We're just... Has he betrayed you yet? There's nothing to betray. We just... Okay, okay. there's just one I'm dying to know. Oh, is he a good kisser? I really <laughs> wish I knew. I mean, he's just so cute and smart, and he... <laughs> I can't help it. I'm crazy about this guy. Well, that's good. You're supposed to be. He is your boyfriend, after all. Right? <laughs> right? Right? You guys have got it all wrong. Ian is not my boyfriend. His name's Ian, huh? Now, does Ian love you as much as you love Ian? I'm telling you, we just talk about books, Zoe. So, wait. Ian doesn't even know you have a crush on him yet? Uh, 